Welcome back Quill Packs, another Godot tutorial. Today we'll be doing a 2D tutorial over rotation and movement, or movement and rotation. Um, I'm going to set up the the space real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just set the scene up real quick, it just has the character. I'm not going to do it like I did with the uh, 2D movement where I went over uh, top down movement and get our GD script and visual script. I'm just going to have the character. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the character and we're going to add a script. It's going to be a GD script. And up here in the variables, we're going to add export int stands for integer variable speed equals 200. Um, export means that it, when you export something, this means that the values are saved along with the resources. It means that their values get saved along with the resources they're attached to and will be available in the editing of the property editor. Okay, I just wanted to pull that up so you guys can get an actual definition of what it is. For the int, the INT that stands for integer, we're going to export a float variable rotation speed. We're going to set it to 1. Point zero. Let's make a variable velocity Set that to a vector 2, since we are in 2D, and a variable rotation direction, set that to 0 to start off with. Um, and I'm getting this from the Godot website, just so you guys know if you want to go look at it. Just explain it in a way that uh, others can understand. Um, we're actually going to move down the function ready, or sorry, we're going to get rid of the function ready. We don't need it. And we are going to add a function get input. And this is similar to a sub, or this is a sub function, I should say, that is called during the uh, function process delta that we're going to get to later. We're going to get the rotation direction. Set it to zero, or equal zero. Velocity, fucking spell, equals vector 2. And now we're going to actually get the input. And I forgot the parentheses for that. So if input is action pressed, not just pressed. We want to get the UI right, close parenthesis and colon, and we're going to set the rotation, oops, so set the rotation direction to plus one, that way we'll rotate uh, clockwise, I believe that's clockwise. If input is action pressed, and we're going to do the same thing for left to rotate counterclockwise, rotation direction minus one. And there's a multiple multitude of ways to actually write this. I like the plus equals and minus equals because it's shorter. Um, you can do equals rotation direction minus one. Um, and I believe there's a third way to do it that I don't remember it off the top of my head. Now for the actual uh, forward and backward movement. So input, if input is action pressed, and we will be doing down first. We are going to get the velocity. And we're going to set it to the speed. So vector, oops, vector 2, open parenthesis. And since we're going down, it's going to be negative speed because we want to move backwards, 0. We're not going to move up and down. We're just going to move forward and backwards. And we're going to base that off of the rotated 
rotation. Sorry, we're going to base that off of the rotation. So rotate it, rotation. Okay, so as I've mentioned before, if you hold control and click on something, it will bring up a little cheat sheet. And I just clicked on rotate it to let you guys understand where that's coming from. Right here is where that line comes from. It gives a little um, explanation of what it does, and it rotates the vector. So that way it stays facing forward. So, um, say for example, we hold left until we're facing 45 degrees. Well, when we go to move, we're not going to move at that 45 degree angle. So we have to, same thing, input is action pressed for up. And I'm just using the um, built in UI keys. I didn't map out any keys. Velocity equals vector 2. This will just be regular speed, 0. Rotate it. Rotation. And that is it for our get input. We're going to come down here. Uncomment this. And we're going to add physics to this. So let's get rid of that. physics process delta and we're going to get input and you get that function that way it automatically loops Oops. that way it automatically loops all this and we can actually condense that um, after we get that we're going to take rotation and we're going to set it to rotation direction we're going to multiply that by the rotation speed and multiply that by delta to get delta time and our move and slide using the velocity okay so the way that we get this rotation or this little equation here is one we're using rotation up here to get where we rotate it uh, as I've shown over here and that is set up by multiplying rotation direction which is what we set here and we've changed during our inputs left and right to rotate counterclockwise and clockwise multiplying that by the rotation speed which is how fast we're rotating um, we we'll set that to one up here and delta to make it delta time so if I was to run this it will ask me to save because I haven't saved my main scene just gonna name it main press up down right left and I'm actually gonna change the rotation speeds like uh, let's say 2.5 run that again And I wish I can put up my keys. I don't know how to key map on a video. But pressing forward, you will go forward according to the direction of the character. Okay, so I kind of put this together badly, but uh, it'll serve the point just to show you where our forward is actually located. And you can see once we rotate, it's actually moving forward the same way. That was a bad way to explain it. But. Um, our forward is always going to be the same. It's always going to be the front side of whatever character or whatever sprite you have. And that's basically it for today's video. Um, I will see you guys Wednesday with another 2D movement. There will be no visual script for this. I didn't have time to actually go through it and try to figure it out, so I apologize for that. But look forward to a different type of rotating the movement. Um, mouse based rotation and movement so uh, if you ever played like endless zombie rampage that's a good example of rotating with the mouse or having your character follow the mouse like actually aim towards the mouse while you move later